Some people like to ride bikes, some people like to like, walk on the beach, but I like to go and meet. I started working in butchery when I was 16 at my local farm shop and from the get-go on my very first day I realised that there was a lack of women and a lack of well anyone other than kind of 40 to 50 year old men in that field. It's kind of like I'm living a double life I guess in many ways. I'm a 27 year old who likes to get her nails done and likes to go to the hairdressers to get a blow dry every now and then and wear nice clothes <laughs> but there's also the me who goes into a butcher shop at 6.30 in the morning with steel toe caps on, with jeans covered in beef fat and a roll neck, and just gets to work with no makeup on. One, two, three, four. I think it's hugely important that women um, are, are in the meat industry, just as in terms of representation and visibility, but also in terms of adding their voice to this kind of discussion that we're having about the future of the meat industry right now. There needs to be some kind of shift in the way that we approach consuming meat and realise that it's a luxury and not a necessity. But in reality, the world that we're in right now and the way that we are consuming meat at such a huge rate, it's not feasible that we carry on the way that we are. If you are going to eat meat, you should do it responsibly. I think that I definitely approach being a butcher more kind of delicately as a woman. And I've always said this, women, I do think, make better butchers than men because they have an understanding and a much more of an appreciation of where this meat came from. And I think that they are more methodical, they take their time more, there's a, there's a kind of bigger and greater willingness to learn as well. It's a very masculine job anyway. But I just wanted to push back a little bit and that's how I kind of found my feet and found my niche, I guess. I am an animal lover and I am a butcher. I don't necessarily see it as a conflicting thing, but I feel like if you confront yourself with the reality of the meat industry and what goes on and choose to eat meat responsibly and understand that it came from an animal, then that's super, super important. I think that that allows you to also appreciate animals and to there's nothing that stops you from loving animals in, in that way either. I just really just get lost in it, to be honest with you. Um, and I just, yeah, I've loved it since day one. Um, and I can't see myself ever getting bored with it. I would definitely say that butchery is an art form. It's knowing what to do with, you're on your face with a whole lamb or a side of pork, to break it down into something that is aesthetically pleasing and looks good to put in a roasting tin for a customer and looks nothing like it did before. I think that's absolutely incredible.